I hope that was recording. Alright, it is so hot in here. Oh my god. god. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> Come on, you still laughing about this. <laughs> Disclaimer, like mom, everyone else in the class did bad too, and then I would bring it out. Well, I had to like, they always looked up to him, so I have to live up to our Paul standards every time. They never asked, you know, but they, <laughs> they never asked you, they always asked me. I All tried not to, you know, I tried to, I felt you, fam. Like, I, I tried, I tried my best. I have three little brothers, so one of them i think he's personally adopted homeboys literally like, has like straight a's all the time so when me and my other brothers would get our report cards we would be like listen let us give our report cards today you give your report cards tomorrow we literally begged him like please you know like we have to like we can't compete against you and then we would go to him and literally it's just ugly but he had a report card it's all about setting the standard, right? So like my my siblings, they always got really, really good grades. They would always get straight A's. I started getting like like pretty bad grades. So then that became my standard. So then anytime that I got an A, I might just lower it down to a B just because I'm like, okay, I don't want the A to be the <laughs> expectation now. So you did bad in school on purpose and then started doing better? Yes, because when I did better, my parents were like overly proud. <laughs> Every time we got out of class, we just like, look at each other like, oh, child. <laughs> You come home with anything more than a B. I mean, less than the B. Don't come home. I don't know, man. My dad would just pulled like a disappointment thing with me. He's like, I came to America to give you good education. <laughs> and you're getting a B? I remember this one time I brought home my report card. I got all A's. I got one B. My dad was like, why'd you get a B? And I was like, B is good. And he's like, no, B stands for bad. <laughs> B is for Bidmash. B is for Bisti. Sorry, like it's just a gym. Like I forgot my like change of clothes. You don't have to like kick me out of the house. As soon as I hit middle school or high school, my heart would race every time I got in the car. And then you know I'd say, oh, what is your, where's your progress report? report? Report card? Aren't they coming out soon? I'm like, oh no, mine got delayed. Oh, I didn't get it yet, mama. Like everyone else get it, got it, but like not me. There was a certain point where my mama expected not to be getting my report card anymore. <laughs> but they always call and she's like, I want to see it. Like, oh, it's just, you just got to tell them like it's coming or there was like a day off. So it's going to be a day late and then you just don't bring it up. I made a fake report card. I came home. I, uh, no, it was good though. It, it was, was a it good was report legit. card. But they like, believed it for about two weeks. Yeah, I cut out B's and I put them on the report card or whatever. And then I photocopied it. I would like cut out like A's and B's on, on like word and like tape them onto the but, like the report and then make like a copy of it. And then I got different people to sign them for me on the bus. So I came home, I showed it to my mom, she was happy, blah, 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 cool, whatever. And I checked the mail like every day in case like the actual one ever made it to the house before my fake copy did. A couple hours later, uh, I think she called me, she was like, she was like, oh, so let me see it again. And I was like, okay, I showed it to her. And I, I think it was, I think it was like a couple days later. She looked at it again and she realized like one of the bees was like crooked. And it all went down to them there. <laughs> Oh my god, I love Helene, but it's so bad for your stomach. Glaji? It's like liver. It's like really heavy. I, I can't eat that. I love puri chana from breakfast, man. It's too much. It's just straight deal, dude. Jot and samosa can be like the top. All the above? <laughs> Honestly. Bindi. I don't even know what Okra. it is. Okra. <laughs> it's a vegetable that's sticky. Lussi. Every time. I love lussi, but you put pretty much, it's just milk, water, yogurt, sugar, and you blend it up, and it tastes so good, but like, it destroys your stomach. I think just like really super spicy biryani, because my aunt likes to make it really, really spicy. You'll be in the bathroom, like shortly after. A spicy biryani. Uh, it's just, it's, it hurts so good, man. Anything spicy. My whole <laughs> body, like, If you eat spicy food, sweating. like, there's, like, water. <laughs> Sometimes, like, like... I can smell it, and I'll start, like, sweating. Bye. I love bye. <laughs> bye? Does that, like, what is bye? Goat feet, yes. <laughs> For some reason, I, I love bai and everyone thinks they're so gross and so nasty, but apparently like they can give you a heart attack if you eat them like 30 days in a row. What the and hell? That's what my friend told me. Because they're so high Did in you cholesterol. Did you find this out on WhatsApp? Like, <laughs> when I eat chana masala, like, well I like all spicy food, so when I eat like spicy chana masala, like, it's like two minutes later I have to go to the bathroom, so. <gasps> chana chat. Oh my god. Straight up. Oh my god. I went from when she's eating the really spicy, spicy Johnny Chat she made herself. Don't. And then later. Don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. 
later when she's sleeping, you can hear her. <laughs> it's so rude. It smells like Jenna John. Halim. I will eat like two bowls of Halim, just Halim. Maybe like three naans with it. And then I'll be feeling that for seven hours. I feel like I will eat anything and I'll be okay. Nothing messes up my stomach. Like I feel like I love lobia dal like that. Maybe like red kidney <laughs> beans. But that doesn't mess up my stomach. I feel like gory logger like that makes you farty. But <laughs> it doesn't make me like anything. But I just know there's like weird things. I just won't want to know what I'm eating. But like if it tastes good, I'll just eat it. But I'll tell my mom not to tell me what animal it comes from. Oh, that's when we get sick because if my mom makes something like if she makes something like Halim, she'll make like a lot of it. And then like the next two years, you know, two months years. later we got Halim. I'm like, mom, I didn't see you making this. She's like, oh, what you doing? Freeze a minute, Vicky and Tika. <laughs> My dad, one of the, like the previous messages, where are the batteries you brought? I said, in the kitchen. He said, I want them in my drawer bedside. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, damn, mama. And she was like, how rude. You say your mom, damn. I said, made it here safely. And she said, thanks, God. OK, so this is a video about water, right? And they are connected with only one thing, which 70% of your body is made of. Mm. Oh, my parents don't really text me. They just call me and start yelling at me. Nobody <laughs> texting you. Your phone's more dry than mine. <laughs> Text from your mom and your dad. Because I opened them. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> so my dad loves resending those stupid WhatsApp messages that are like, you know, um, Pepsi has now been considered haram in like 49 countries. Um, why WhatsApp? Why does like, why do they all use WhatsApp? Like, I, I don't because know. What, because well, WhatsApp like is, they yeah, that. and like before they had to use calling cards and they would be like, Five dollars oh, okay. for like a hundred minutes, and you know they need like a thousand minutes. Like, <laughs> Our mom will tell us to type for her for her friends. She'll be like, "Oh, can you type this for me?" Now what she does is because I never understand what her text messages are. She leaves me that voice. My mom is that too now. Voice thing. Yeah. And I sent it to my dad, and I was like, "I love you, Papa." I sent like a heart emoji and everything. He was like, "Thank you." <laughs> <laughs> she just thinks like if I do dumb things, like it always ends with you need to get married. For kids, you actually learn a lot. As you get older, you can become like more business-minded. Drawbacks, all the DCs know you and they want, you know, um, discounts on everything. My dad like runs a medical, his own medical practice, so it's like, I can get like free checkups and physicals. Um, but when he like, when he asked me the question, I have to lie about certain questions or like, or like, say some other stuff. But, but it's nice, you get a free physical, you know? He's like, hey dad, I'm like, I'm, I have this with my heart. It's like, oh, son, you have a heart attack. Like, oh, thanks for, it's a free diagnosis. <laughs> when we were younger, our dad had a lot of inventory in our garage. So, you know, we were like fun little kids, just go we down like, there, go down, pick up some, some candy. candy. Um, but like, I would say one downside is like, there's not like a lot of like reliable employees. So like, we don't get to see our dad as much. Yeah. That's a downside. But than that, like, free stuff. Free stuff. <laughs> Perks. Um, I get a new car all the time. I guess I kind of don't like that though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Spoiled. My dad has a pizza business. So like pizza is garka kana, like that's the perk. <laughs> Perks, you just kind of get to eat everything. But, expired items. My mom will come up with a bag of like a full bag of chips, like everything, like everything. She's like, oh yeah, here. I'm like, mommy, everything's expired. Don't worry, it's still good for you. I'm like, mom, what the heck? Like, it's yeah, it's nice having like desi plugs for things. Like, yeah. Every time like I go to like Dunkin' Donuts, they always like, my man, extra, Gary. my man Gary, Gary always throws <laughs> Gary. Yeah. My man Gary always throws in that extra donut for you. So many family members, like when you have one DC business owner, he hires the entire Handan, all of his brothers, all of his sisters' uh, children, all of like their like relatives, wives, husbands, this and that. Give them all a job. Yeah. I worked a whole summer, like just for free. You know, I'm not, I'm not even legal to sell alcohol. You, you can't be paying other people to do the job that your kids could clearly do for you. But then, a little bit of drama happens oh, in the store. The a drama. little bit of drama happens, and everyone flips shit. Body drop, drop top. Hit a gun the butcher with the flip flop. Talking bakwas, you do buck buck. Stressing me out, I got sartar. We came from the print to America. I told you the plan, you said TK. 